So today I am going to show you how I made my daughter's little jumper out of scrap fabric from my Thanksgiving projects. I made myself a dress. I ended up making my partner a shirt and then I had enough scrap fabric to make both my daughters an outfit, full outfits, which was amazing. So first, the lucky thing is I used the plaid, so I used just counting the squares and evening out. This is the bodice, and I folded it, cut the neck hole, made sure all the sides were even. I didn't measure my daughter. I totally eyeballed all of this project. But I'm very happy with the way it came out. This is me just making sure everything's as even as possible. Cutting off all the like spare edges. This is more fabric that I'm going to use to make the skirt. And I'm just going to gather the skirt. Oh, here I cut the bodice, uh, the back. That's the opening where the ribbon will go. It's like a pinafore jumper type thing that I made her. Again, I'm just folding the fabric, making sure everything's even because I'm not really measuring anything. And I just want it to be as square or rectangular as possible because this is going to be the gathered skirt. I kind of measured where the bodice would lie. And again with folding and just lining up all the squares so that I can make sure it was as even as possible. So if you were doing this with plain fabric, obviously you would want to lay it on graph paper or on a graph cutting mat so that you can even it out that way or take perfect measurements. Again, I was doing this with just scraps and this was a day where I was throwing everything together, seeing if I could finish everything in one day. I had twill tape and ribbon that the, or the bias tape, I think is what it's called. And it's the double folded, so it's already ready to go. Here I did like a rolled hem on the machine. Where I just like rolled it over twice so that it could finish that edge neatly. And this is the back of the bodice. This project I was throwing together so fast that I did not take time to press anything. I was just seeing flying by the seat of my pants with this project and it was super fun. I love doing things like this. It gets the creative juices flowing. Here I'm lining up the bias tape along the neckline. Oh no, wait, I'm still in the back, I think. It's the neckline, but it's the back so that I can put the ribbon for the back to tie. I could have stay stitched that, but I didn't need it. I did the bias tape along all the edges of the bodice. Now it's the skirt. And what I ended up doing was sewing the seam together for the front. And then I will 
do another rolled hem for the back. I did both sides. And now I'm just going to do the gathering stitches. which is two stitches along close to the edge um, at the widest stitch length. I used four. There I gathered all the pieces and on the bottom I also did a rolled hem. Now I want to connect the bodice to the skirt, so I was measuring to see how I can make that fit. And I realized I should gather the bodice in a couple pieces. Then I sewed it together. So I ended up not showing it, but I did gather all the bodice pieces on the bottom and then spread it out to match the skirt. And at this point, I think my baby was napping and I had just laid this on her back to kind of make sure it would go around her. <laughs> and I was pleasantly surprised that it was working. And it is the perfect little like apron and I just needed to add one more ribbon to close like the the waistband and it was ready here's my dress which I made out of the Gertie Maria dress pattern here is my partner's shirt which is also Gertie is the Presley shirt my daughter's dress was completely free-handed as well and here is the little pinafore dress. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one.